Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome into the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day. You guys, let me move this so I can go ahead and sit down. Hold on a second. All right, got a few minutes to bring Ari right quick before I head off to get my day going. Um, but I gotta get this out, okay? The Divine was talking to me this morning when I was in the shower. And the Divine was telling me, it's not 24 a.m. Uh, the Divine was talking to me. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Aquarius birthday. Aquarius, happy birthday if you're in here, okay? Shout out to my Aquarius. Um, we have, today is an 888 day, okay? Um, the Divine told me that you have been recognized, okay? Your Pharaoh energy um, or your Pharisee energy, your God or Goddess energy has been recognized. You've been accepted, okay? Pisces, Taurus, Libra, and we got Sagittarius, okay? Pisces, Taurus, Libra, Sag, okay, and on the bottom of the deck, we have Leo, okay? This is what's coming to light, all right? Um, your pharaoh energy is being seen at this time, okay? Um, we passed the initiation where we were being initiated. Um, our heart was being looked at uh, by... The energy of the Sphinx, okay, um, which Leo energy, that's here, okay, and it's a vibration where now you're able to pass through the Sphinx, okay, without being burned up, okay, um, you're, you, you pull the sword per se, um, let me tell you the movie that I'm referencing as far as the fact that you passed through the energy of the Sphinx, which was initiation, okay, um, into the Egyptian bloodline, okay, it's like the, your bloodline, your Egyptian um, blood had to be proven, okay? It had to be um, looked at and it had to be proven that you were truly the authentic pharaoh or god or goddess, okay? Or Pharisee. And so basically, um, the movie is never, what is it called? Not the land before time. Um, oh my God, I can't even think of what it's called. But with the big old flying dog looking creature slash dragon, okay? Not the land before time. That's the dinosaur movie. Okay, but something significant about that. You could have been watching the land before time. The never ending story. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, when the little boy was supposed to pass through the Sphinx, but first he saw the night pass through and the night was burned up, right? Um, by the cosmic light of the Sphinx. Well, it's a vibration where you are not burned up by the cosmic light of the Sphinx, okay? You pass through, all right? Your title is being honored and recognized. I'm also hearing your rank. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. <sighs> Thank you. Divine Holy Spirit for pure and concise messages. You are cold but so warm, okay? Mondays, all right? I am favored, okay? Pisces, you're in some favored energy, okay? Um, am I right? It's like something's been proven, okay? Um, the alignment you're in, the compassion, the unconditionalness, okay, has been proven, all right? Your love's been proven as well if you've been in a relationship or some sort of committed situation or partnership, okay? Um, they see that you, this could even be work. They see that you are devoted, okay? They see that you are committed, all right? We have Taurus energy, affirmation for Taurus. So there's a symbol, um, it's the swiggly line symbol, and it basically represents approximately or above, okay? You're actually connected into some Geb energy, which is the earth god, okay? And he's about to show you abundance like lavish nice things okay it's that type of vibe okay you could have had a lot of uh sensation in your left ear all right um the ancestors are holding uh, holding up or stopping traffic um i did a reading and uh it was one where i was writing okay something about that reading is significant because I stated that in the reading, okay? So the ancestors are holding up or stopping traffic for the chosen, okay? It says, I am activated. So you're going through an activation, Taurus, okay? Your crown chakra looks like it's being blown wide open, all right? Or about to be. Take it as it resonates, okay? And then we have Libra energy here. Libra, okay? Um, Geb energy. Geb's wife is goddess nut. So goddess nut energy, Libra. This is the energy as well of giving and receiving. This is also going to look like the yin yang energy. This is looking like ebb and flow. Okay. Um, the energy of the Maya. All right. Them skills is being balanced out. Okay. Nut, goddess nut. Okay. Is the goddess of sky and heavens. Okay. 
we have I am timeless okay so I feel like one of you Libra could have emanated or be emanating at this time as goddess uh, newt okay pisces i feel like you're in this goddess um i'm sorry this geb energy he's a god okay um it's your masculine and your feminine energies looks like they're both out here it says good morning we got black and yellow it's friday it says marry your purpose and birth your destiny i am aligned with god's plan for me okay sagittarius so you look like you're in alignment here okay to sum it up, I feel like overall, collectively, we are in alignment, okay? Um, you could be carrying the torch, Sagittarius, leading the way, okay? It's that type of vibration. Um, now, there was uh, some poison, okay, that, that someone tried to... to uh, put into your body this could have been by way of a snake bite okay but it gave me the energy of like a snake bite but then it also showed me that someone sucked the poison out the poison's been removed it was almost immediate okay um as if you would if you were in the safari or the desert and you got bit by a snake or in the forest okay it's a vibe where they say you suck it out and you drink milk right or you have someone else suck out the poison spit it out and then they need to drink milk okay um, <coughs> It's a vibration, 929 on the clock, okay, of uh, uh, signaling a new cycle and a new path, okay? Um, you're leaving that behind. I feel like someone in trying to poison you was trying to separate you from God, okay? It's a smooth operator type of energy. I feel like you're the smooth operator or God is, okay? Um, so at the bottom of the deck, we have I am innovation. Good morning. Okay, so there's a start to something new here. Um, your cosmic ancestors are on the line. Hello, alien gang at the bottom of the deck here, okay? So it's a vibration where your cosmic ancestors, okay, they want to speak with you. This is your extraterrestrial ancestors. Okay, they got some messages for you as well. Let's see what signs come out. So you're in this ebb and flow. You're in the energy of the Maya. You're in the energy, in the energy of the east, the west, the north, the south. You are the oracle, okay? It's a vibration where you are the oracle. You are the light, okay? You are the torch you carry, okay? You're the flame that the Statue of Liberty carries, okay? It's some flame energy, heavy fire energy here. So that makes sense. Leo and Sag, there's two fire energies out here, one water, one earth, and one air. So it's an energy also of you being an alchemy. You could be... um manifesting at this time continue um to keep your thoughts positive okay we have uh the geese spiritual meaning so you're definitely connecting to uh geb okay pisces because geb is represented by the geese okay um oh excuse my honey bun <laughs> sorry y'all uh but anyway uh confirmation there okay um yeah flock of christ followers okay this talks about fidelity and faith okay pisces well you're already pisces is a sign of spirituality anyway okay it connects us to our divinity anyway all right and so for you you're arising in that energy okay you're waking in that energy all right so look out for what's coming to you as it relates to um this new lifestyle okay so we have taurus retrograde energy taurus um this activation could kick you into review okay you could actually be being reviewed right now all right as far as the Phoenix energy because maybe this is four different energies that are in four different places um we have the masculine Pisces that's not normally a masculine sign, but you're you're feeling more protected, Pisces. There's a lot of protection around you, okay? Um, being that you're rising in this earth energy, very grounded energy, you can feel things start to calm down, okay? Um, I'm hearing a wave of access, also a wave of access codes. Take it as it resonates, okay? Libra, we got 444 energy. We have divinely protected, right? As I'm talking about you being protected, Pisces. So overall, it's like I feel like they're saying your spiritual gifts, your divinity is protected. It's solidified, okay? Um, it's acknowledged. It's recognized. It's accepted, all right? It's proven, so we have purpose, productivity. We have the meaning of the chrysanthemum. The chrysanthemum speaks about longevity, fidelity, joy, and optimism, okay? Now, chrysanthemums come in a varies of different colors. So if you're seeing chrysanthemums right now, be sure that you are looking at the color. And when you're looking them up, you're looking for the spiritual meaning of the color. Be specific. Um, also, if you're dreaming at this time, pay attention to what's going on uh, in your dreams, okay? Um, what colors you see, what feelings you, you feel. 
Um, something about your dreams is very pertinent right now. Okay, my nose is itching. So this is for you, Libra. Um, good morning, purpose. Okay, so you could be very focused on your purpose, but I just feel like you are in complete alignment, direct alignment with that purpose. Okay, that's a whole lot, Holy Spirit. We just need one. All right, Sagittarius sign, Holy Spirit. Okay, they're still, they kicked out a whole bunch. So this one came out yesterday. I guess it lets me know we're, 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 we're following suit here. We're in a, we're, we're following, we're on the right path, okay? Um, things are going in the right order, okay, Sagittarius? It's a vibration where um, this is speaking about poinsettias. The poinsettias speak to us about good cheer and success are said to bring wishes of mirth and celebration. I was just going to say, Taurus, there is some celebratory energy. Either you're being celebrated or you're celebrating someone. There is a shark carrying those balloons, okay? So it's a vibe. I'm getting that boogeyman energy that I spoke about yesterday where I was like, um, on one of the cards, there's a man and a shark and he's turning around and he looks looks at us and he's like how you doing right but it's a vibe where i feel like someone tried to boogeyman you and you turned out to be the boogeyman okay uh, but you've overcome some type of negativity sagittarius okay we got the pomegranates we got the dream catcher and the poinsettias we got this owl energy here so it's giving me the energy as well of aphrodite um as it's connecting me to this owl now we got some moon energy here so i feel like a new moon could be coming up really really soon okay we got hey hey okay somebody could have been trying to put your fire out they cannot okay everybody lit can't put our fire out okay that could be coming through on saturday all right um or you could just be really looking forward to the weekend now this moonflower energy it speaks about growth expression and creativity okay so i feel like this is what this moon is bringing in okay whenever this moon is coming i don't have the exact date right now but i know it's right around the corner it could be today okay but anyway um that's bringing you some growth you're about to expand if you were spilling spilling take that as it resonates okay i don't know um but anyway spilling someone's last name could be spilling okay or spelling all right. Maybe you're outgrowing some type of spell work as well. Like someone's been doing some spells. You're outgrowing that energy. It like can't even penetrate anymore. OK. Um, and so then we have this seahorse spirit, which says magic, good luck, persistence, masculine power, strength and peace. So that's confirmation. OK. This could be someone's tower, actually, that you are no longer penetrable. OK. Um, or it could be someone's tower that your your god or goddess energy, your pharaoh or pharisee energy actually checked out that you actually are that motherfucker. OK. Take that as it resonates. You got a 10 here. OK. Someone's um, adoring you or in adoration of you. Um, we have faith. OK. Faith to adore. All right. That's love. So someone's loving and adoring your energy at this time. Someone has a lot of respect for you. OK, um, so you're, you're getting a solid 10. But I just feel like this is you being recognized your um, past life divinity, your past life rank. OK, is being uh, recognized. But that is a tower. OK, for somebody. So look, yeah, definitely some moon energy, full moon or new moon. I believe it's a new moon time. OK, so look for things um, that innovation energy. OK, Leo, definitely that innovation something new is getting ready to start spark or be inspired okay um let's see what gods of guardians we got and then yeah i gotta cut this one a little short today but let's do this let's try to hurry because i gotta go to work y'all but i had to get this out you guys will probably get it this afternoon hopefully no later than this evening with the uploading okay um so let's see thank you holy spirit for pisces all right for all of us okay so we got sexual wisdom okay you could start to feel very um what's the word i just feel like inspiration because this is giving me queen of wands energy okay um you, you you got that sex appeal your pheromones could be going off right now okay but you've also got some strength energy because she's like giving me the energy of the strength card okay um leo vibes where you basically have tamed either your ego you've tamed a lion you could have tamed um some sort of uh 
addictions or something like that okay so we have inner strength here okay taurus tap into your inner strength you'll find freedom there okay for some of you that have already if you're tauruses that have tapped into that inner strength okay you have found a level of peace and serenity okay um and freedom okay we got libra your inner safe space okay Sagittarius they're wanting you to watch your words I feel like at this time with that seahorse coming out and this card coming out for me when I see this this is like watch what's about to happen okay you're gonna like what's about to happen okay um and then there's also with sensitivity here it's an, a vibe where something's gonna come through okay oh there's Poseidon energy here this has to do with the Atlanteans this is your Atl your Atlantis ancestors You've been crowned as well. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, sweet success. Ocean energy, Leo. So that's what your success is being highlighted, I feel. Okay. Let's get a short and sweet just in case I can't get to the buzz. But y'all know I'm going to get to the buzz too. But I want to see what this short and sweet is about. What's going on here, Holy Spirit? Give it to me, Claire. I just feel celebratory vibes. I feel like there's an opportunity that's about to meet you, but it's an opportunity that you weren't looking for or you weren't expecting to uh, come in. Okay, those just shot out, so I'm gonna take them. Okay, Pisces emotional roller coaster. Taurus, trust the process. Libra, liquid gold. Sagittarius, tears shed. Okay, someone watching you could be crying or emotional um, off of something you said. I feel like you could have gave someone some guidance, some some. You could have like assisted them, like, hey, this is what you should be focusing on. Hey, this is where your direction, your energy should be flowing. Hey, this is why you're in pain. Hey, you need to uh, observe this. Look at this. Okay, you could have um, you could have been someone's catalyst for change. Okay. Emotional roller coaster, trust the process, liquid gold, tears shed. Okay, I feel like people, it's a vibration where, like, it's awe. Someone could be, like, really in awe. We had uh, uh, the vibe of them being in adoration, having respect for you, having love for you. Um, it's a vibe where people are happy for you, where you are, what you've been able to achieve, what you've been able to accomplish. Okay. Um, this could have made some people emotional. This, I feel like the people that could be emotional are the ones that didn't treat you right. Okay. Or something like that. We got keep going, Leo. Okay. So that's that vibe. I feel like people who mishandled you, mishandled your love, mishandled your, your trust, mishandled your energy they they could be crying okay they could be like dang i want you back okay it could be that type of vibe be careful we are wrapping up that last little shadow of mercury retrograde so there could be some old exes trying to reach back out come back around okay run a guilt trip on you all right get you out of character so just watch out for that energy let's see what the buzz is yeah because you're being offered something it's like you're being welcomed in, okay? The initiation, you've completed successfully, okay? And it's a vibe where now you're being accepted by a whole nother realm, world, or uh, location, person, okay? Place or thing, take it as it resonates, okay? I feel like this new moon is going to be good for you. You could probably be ready to embrace this newness, you know? I know I am, but you be ready for change sometime. You be ready for something new, especially if it's good. And it looks like it's liquid gold out here, Libra. Something's coming in that's about to balance the scales for all of us collectively. Um, and it's like, it's, 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 that liquid gold is nothing but divinity. And oh my goodness, this is the dog I was talking about in Never Ending Story, okay? So that statement I made is very, very significant. Now, this card right here also speaks about your ancestors getting some type of payback or revenge, okay? Um, and you getting a victory. So that's the vibe, Pisces, okay? This could make you emotional because maybe people are going to start to say good things about you. This could bring you to tears even, okay? Um, so we have forever. Look at you sitting on your throne. This is by Cy Rock, okay? That first song is gonna have a funky good time okay pisces and then taurus we got cyrock forever okay you better shine on them baby you a star all right you tapped into some record keeper energy there's some new communication coming into you this new communication um it's gonna be foreign all right uh it's it's gonna be foreign 
So Libra, we got keeps on falling in love. Cheers, my dears. Okay. Um, Sunday, fun day. You can need to go ahead and do Sunday fun day this weekend. Okay. Maybe you've been putting it off. It's time to get back in that swing. Okay. Um, your loved ones are missing you. Okay. They're missing the times, the memories you guys were building. Okay. Um, for me, I kind of had to take a break from Sunday fun day for a couple weeks. I got, I got down, I got busy. Okay. Other things were going on. Um, and so it just, the timing wasn't right, but I feel like the timing is about to be right now. Okay. Um, and then we have reflection. Okay. Cause you are a reflection of me, shouty. All right. Sagittarius. Maybe people realize like, dang, they see the God in you. Okay. And so they're realizing that they see themselves in you as well because they see God in you. And I feel like they see God. Somebody sees God, Sagittarius. Somebody could be passing away as well. I am seeing that energy. Um, but there's a vibration where there's an ego here. Okay. Um, you could be flying extremely high. You're at a, a different type of altitude. You know, only eagles can breathe in that high of altitude. Okay. Um, and then we got break my soul. Okay. Maybe somebody tried to break your soul and you're like, look, you won't break my soul. Okay. At the bottom of the deck. Oh, Break My Souls by Beyonce. Reflection is by Moneybag Yo and Yo Gotti. Okay. And Keeps on Falling in Love is by um, Babyface. At the bottom of the deck, we got Walk It Like I Talk It. Okay. Featuring Drake. And we got Free Time. Okay. So I feel like you're about to have some free time. You're about to be able to do whatever you want to do. Dance around the house. Um, maybe you're going to end up getting off work early. It's going to be something like that where you're going to have some free time where, where it wasn't accounted for at first. Okay. So this has been your read, you guys. I hope y'all, yep, 944 on the clock. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I got to go. Peace out. Love y'all. Bye.